The Quick Logic Racks catalog allows users to create custom racking, manage the storage and retrieval of loads, and produce detailed reports. Let's have a look at some of the features. A single component will build all of the racking within a model and manage the connections to other components such as vehicles. The catalog contains a number of example systems which we can use to get started. Let's look at an ASRS system and change some properties. This pallet racking produces loads automatically when we start the model. We can configure this behaviour to change the number, type and distribution of the loads. The shelves on these racks are placed according to an editable table. We can edit these manually or import or export these shelf heights. Let's clean up some space to add a new shelf type. Our system can have as many types of shelves as we require, which can be defined in the configurator's properties. We can use a similar method to define new racks or even whole aisles. Our new shelf will hold smaller cardboard boxes. Any defined shelf can be added to our rack by changing the relevant table. Before we progress with this model, let's take a detour to see how this system was constructed. The Quick Logic racks use procedures to build the racking arrangement. This can be done manually or with the assistance of the Quick Builder. We can add widgets to create new racks which are placed end to end. The arrows here help us to show the rack's entrance direction and change its orientation and position. We can define different racks, just like with shelves, and place them within our system. Special tunnels will allow vehicles to drive underneath. We can also define standard aisle arrangement using tables. Once we've finished building our system, we can always re-edit the layout, either with the quick builder or directly in the procedure. The build procedure also allows the creation of custom addressing, which can be used alongside zoning to manage storage and retrieval. Let's return to our original model to set up zoning. We'll create a new zone solely for our custom box shelves, and then change how our system manages them. Zones are groups of storage locations on the racking system, and we can have multiple overlapping zones defined. Each zone can have different population settings and different priorities for storage and retrieval. This allows us, for example, to create areas for fast-moving product. For now, we'll make sure that no loads are created or stored within our box zone. By naming our zone the same as our shelf, we automatically generate the right region within the racking. However, we can use Quick Logic to customize the zone if required. We can immediately see that our newly defined region does not produce any loads. By editing the zone's population settings, we can produce packages of the correct size in this region. The Build Racks procedure can build other components into the racking, such as custom CAD or conveyor sections. We can edit the layout and see how it updates automatically. Once our system is built, we can generate a report which outputs relevant information about the space and utilization, broken down for specific zones as well. The Quick Logic Racks is available to download on the web store alongside a detailed tutorial course. Try it out and investigate more advanced features such as dynamic zoning, customized reporting, and control via warehouse management systems.